44-year-old Patrick Henry Sherrill murdered 14 people and wounded another six. On 19 August 1986, 44-year-old Patrick Henry Sherrill, who was employed as a mail carrier in Edmund, Oklahoma, got into an argument with two supervisors over his lousy work. Enraged by this encounter, he returned to his place of employment, the post office, the following morning with three pistols and his postal satchel filled with ammunition. He entered the post office and blocked off all the exits before opening fire on his co-workers. He ended up murdering 14 people and wounded another six. One victim was one of the supervisors who had reprimanded Cheryl the previous day. The other supervisor was luckily late for work that morning due to oversleeping. Cheryl then turned the gun on himself. It was this massacre which inspired the phrase going postal. After shooting several of his co-workers, Patrick Henry Sherrill moved on to the break room where he found more employees. He continued to fire his gun, killing several more people. He then went outside where he encountered a mail carrier who was coming to work. The mail carrier tried to run away, but Patrick shot and killed him. By this time, people inside the post office had called the police. The police arrived on the scene and set up a perimeter around the building. They tried to communicate with Patrick, but he did not respond. They also attempted to get inside the building, but the doors were locked. Eventually, they found a way inside and were able to approach Patrick Henry Sherrill. When they did, he turned the gun on himself. The entire incident lasted around 15 minutes. In all, 14 people were killed and six others were injured. Patrick Henry Sherrill had no prior criminal record and it's still unclear what motivated him to commit this horrible act. In the aftermath of the shooting, there were many questions about how something like this could have happened. The Edmund Post Office was seen as a safe and peaceful workplace and there were no obvious warning signs that something like this could happen. Some people wondered if Patrick's recent disciplinary action played a role in his actions. Others pointed to the high stress levels that are often associated with postal work. In the end, what was clear is that this was a deeply tragic event that left a lasting impact on the families of victims and the community as a whole.